Like there's a shelf there, which is unusual, right? And then these sorts of weird stick things, like that makes you think that maybe. But this is the fascinating part. I would want my permeability measurement from this. But of course, when Richard and I went through the core, he said, Jen, I can't get you that. It's just not enough of a... You, doesn't, you can't get it into the core sleeve in time, right? So what we get out, fascinating as it is, is this. But I'll bet you, let's look at the number from number nine. I bet that permeability is around 500 millidarcies, when really this is five darcies. And that's what my reservoir in situ measurements are telling me. It's the reservoir. Because this dominates the flow over this. Because you skew for, you get a bias for what's confident, the less fractured, the less confident. Okay, so and look, even right balance. below it, this is what it, I want that. <laughs> Tell me what the permeability of that is. I don't know, 20 darts. <laughs> it would blow through the, the yeah. tool too fast, right? And that's, that's the one that made it in. Get that on video too. I know. <laughs> Show me again. This one is what you get. So what would be the perm from this one here at number eight, the one above it? That's uh, also pretty high. It's, it's porous, but it's... 1430? So 1.4. Yeah, 1.4. So this is, so that's better, but again, it's not what we're trying to measure. So this one is what we get for core analysis. That's the one we can actually measure because it makes it into the sleeve. You can put it into the tool and the apparatus to measure the permeability. This is what I want to know, but this one doesn't make it into the perm machine. We don't even select it, because we know it's just the air, it's an air perm measurement. It's going to go right through and it'll go off the scale. 